I think that the Art Students League is so vital to the community in the sense that it's giving artists a, a direct hands-on experience. To have something this, this important grow up here, take root and grow up here, uh, is a blessing to the community. When you think about the community of artists that we have here, it's extraordinary. I love how everybody works together here. I feel like there is like a, a genuine teamwork energy that happens. I got involved with them at all around wanting to kind of be able to expand their reach, you know, into other communities. The membership keeps changing and growing. That means you bring in new people in and, and uh, uh, students who have graduated have gone on to be professional artists or, or, or do it part-time, whatever it is. We have little children who come here and go to workshops and learn about art. And we have people in their 80s who've been coming here for a long time and they're still working on their art. When I was nine years old, <laughs> I'm 32 now, so I started my, my journey with the League a very long time ago. I started taking a few summer camp classes and it became a gradual transition to, to every Saturday and then um, I was a summer camp assistant and then a teacher. The track record of the school is the children that have gone through the, the children's classes and gone up to become artists, get scholarships to be an artist, to come back and teach at the school. Um, to me, that's the, that's the greatest thing. The fact that Art Students League is, you know, an art school that is available to everyone, that you don't have to get accepted. Art school in particular, especially when you seek higher education in the arts, can become immensely unaffordable for some people and, and groups of people. That speaks to access. Like this level of education is still comparable to college level and beyond, which I think is as it should be. So you learn not only from the faculty members, but you learn from the person standing next to you as you're standing in class. I don't know of another place where you can go to have the richness of experience that, that we have here at the Art Students League. Young artists are doing things today, and like, that's amazing, you know, and they're using the computer as an aid. Teen Studio Night is structured in a way that the art that people make in the class, they're personally driven by. Um, I might do a demo, of course, I might display a technique, but for the most part, the work that they create here is really what they want to be working on. The community, the, the, the space, the social space that we've created over the years is the, is the bedrock for the art that people make. Now we've got fiber art, we've got jewelry making, we've got some photography, we've, we've got all kinds of things that a variety of people would be interested in. You know, our students, like, in my experience, has I've never really seen them say like, no, that's just, that seems too outlandish. We can't do that. How does the art spirit live here in this community if there's no center, if there's no central point, central spirit to it? I felt there was something really lacking in Denver. There didn't seem to be any really good options for studying like there were in the League of New York. The Art Students League of New York was the one school that we sort of wanted to fashion the school after. Doug Dawson, uh, he was, may have been the first person I actually approached about this idea. He listened to my idea, he got really excited about it. There were certain people that were instrumental uh, in, and without them, the school never would have happened. I introduced myself to Henry Meininger. When Phil Levine first approached me about the, about the school, and he wanted to do some advertising, and I told him, well, we've got all these people coming to the store on the Saturday for the garage sale, why don't you hang out and pass out your flyer and check to see if there's any interest for the school. 2,000 people came by and I asked each one of them, if there were an art student's league in Denver, would you become a member, would you take classes? Two questions. The response was enormous, enormously overwhelming. I mean, I met Henry Meininger and Phil 
Levine on the street at a Meininger's garage sale. I'm standing in line and they're walking around with a clipboard asking uh, the people in line whether they would think that an art student's league would be a good idea. And I thought, that's a great idea. There was an immediate response. And uh, sure enough, it wasn't long after that that they, the school started, and it started with one building. Two small studios. I was in the uh, Platt Street, 15th and Platt Street studio for, uh, with the league for a while, and then the league moved over to Market Street for a while. We just outgrew those spaces really fast. One of the best things that happened to us was the Denver Public Schools sold us this, you know, uh, building for a song and a dance. We saw this and we fell in love. I said, this is it. This is the art student scene right here. We went to DPS and I offered um, uh, $250,000. They turned that offer down. And my father had a friend who worked for the surplus property of the Denver Public Schools. He came up to me and said, Henry, they'll take 125 cash. I think we probably had $5,000 in our checking account at that time. And that's when I accepted the offer and went out to the community to raise money to buy it. Then I heard that the league was buying this building. I came in and talked to Debbie and said, hey, if you have an extra studio, I would love to rent it. And I was the first one to ask, and they had one studio. So as soon as the, the deal was closed, I moved my things in, and then the league slowly moved in after that. Once we bought the building, it's, everything changed. It became more of a permanent thing. Well, I think the building is a character in and of itself for the art students. Like you walk through the front door, and it's clear that you're in school. In the 30 years that I've been here since the school had started, I, I, I can hear, I hear about the, the league wherever I go. When I mention the Art Students League, people know what it's about. It just seemed like the, the stars were aligned right for this to happen in Denver. The whole idea of the Art Students League was to match students up with people who actually practice their art and who had a knowledge of the princi principles and techniques that they could share. Uh, we all grew together. There's so many great artists that have come out of the school, and we're talking about artists that are making a, a very good living being an artist. The support SLD provides us is very essential, particularly, I think, for early stage artists. One of the wonderful things to be a member of the SLD is to be able to show my artwork in the Denver community. I wouldn't be in the same position I am now uh, if the ACSD didn't exist. There's just nothing else like it. I love that we stay true to the old and I love that we're also really opening, open to introducing the new. I think that's the key. Like I think that attitude that you're always open to exploring new things and trying new things. The work here is, is critical for people who are exploring who they are, be they young or old or rich or poor, it doesn't matter. What you're doing it through a medium, through art, is learning about yourself and learning about self-expression. Almost always art is self-expression and when people have an avenue of self-expression, their trajectory developmentally is altered forever. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Art is the way I can express something inside from me without any constraint. Art is now part of important part of my life because it gives me confidence and also it gives me the voice I would not have otherwise. Ultimately, I think you hope that your art and just art in general kind of like brings people together and does allow for all of those things to happen. This is the center, this is where you go. You love art, you want to learn how to paint and draw and be around other artists and struggle with that whole thing. This is the heart and soul of art in Denver, I feel. Yeah, and I, I, I feel very fortunate to have been part of all of this. It's always going to be such a big part of me whether I think about it or not, right? And I'm not super sentimental, but I know it's going to always be just a part of that whole experience of who I am as an artist.